I would also like to uh, thank Mr. Bruno Le Maire and uh, the French government for setting such an extraordinary good example for all of the rest of us with all your actions on climate and also on finance. And uh, also, of course, uh, thank Mr. Bloomberg for the wonderful work that he's done in the task force on climate-related financial disclosure, uh, which opens up an opportunity for us all and also for all the financial actors who want to take a responsible stance. And I would also like to uh, thank uh, Mr. Bertrand Picard for the finalizing speech here, uh, showing us all that everything actually can be achieved. We believe, uh, as countries, Sweden and France, that these climate risks have to be implemented and included in risk assessment. We believe that we have to extend our time horizons from just the few years that we are now focusing on doing investments and into the future, looking at what comes ahead. We have to start looking at what creates long-term value rather than short-term profits if we are to change the direction. And uh, we are prepared to invest our capital. Our capital is mainly political capital, but we will invest that in order to make sure that the results of the task force is implemented in our nations. And we are also committed to do what we can to implement it on the European level. But we also believe that uh, words are easy. We have to move into action. Uh, we have decided that the national pension funds, who have uh, about 140 billion euros uh, of assets under management, uh, that they have to meet the Paris Agreement and that they have to invest in order with the sustainable development goals that we've agreed on. We have a new legislation that has just been adopted that requires of all Swedish fund managers on the market to disclose how they integrate sustainability into their investments. We are also uh, deciding that the premium pension system that encompasses about 100 billion euros uh, will only now allow funds that are dedicated to sustainability into the market. We do this because we are confident that this is the right way forward. This is the way to decrease risks. This is the way to increase profits in the future. And this is to have a sustainable financial sector. And I believe that Sweden and France, with the cooperation that we've recently initiated are rightly positioned that we can set examples and we believe that the rest of the world will follow.